Welcome to Extra Time. I have a question to start things off for myself, gentlemen. Well, you should have written it. Well, tough. I'd have to write in. What's like that? You James just... Milner said that he wasn't going to watch today's game, yeah? When you were in the title race with Newcastle against United and you for Celtic against Rangers, would you watch their yeah. games? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I don't believe James Miller did. Really? He's lying? Yeah, I think he lied. <laughs> Why would lying. he lie? He said that it was a wa it would be a waste of energy. How much energy you spend watching a football game? Well, like willing, willing United to win. How much energy does that expel? No, you'd watch them. I would, yeah. Yeah, and you, would you watch Rangers? I don't think so. No, because of the energy. No, I just didn't watch. I, you know, I just don't watch that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, trouble is, it was golf on. Right. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's late. I don't remember the year we picked him on the last day to win the title. I don't remember watching them that year. Just did what we did. Right. Mm. Win or lose at the weekend. Yeah. And we, we got on with I don't. I don't. I just don't remember. I, just, I don't remember. I know. There wasn't as many games on. Right. There was a lot of games on. But you wouldn't go out of your way to watch it? No. To see if they'd... No, I wouldn't go out of my way. Oh, don't no. start backtracking no, just now. Saying, you no. just said you'd watch. I would. But to Craig's point, is we didn't have cable TV back in those days. You didn't have much... You know, it's not like Norway you I could did. watch... Well, I did. It was only in 2000. It was only the late 90s, 2000. <laughs> that, was, that was 95, 96. Oh, it was still guess. Sky. Was there? Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I know. I just told you. <laughs> wasn't on. It wasn't on. Was that you I saving money again? You, 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 just, you just had your BBC licence fee. He was just too busy with his Maserati driving uh, <laughs> Stuart yeah. Robson's place. I don't know what you're talking about. When is Frank coming back? Frank and Shaq are laughing hysterically at each other's dad's jokes uh, made my whole week. What dad's jokes? I don't know. Were you telling jokes? I don't tell dad's jokes. My jokes are all very Frank's good. gone off uh, to talk to somebody else for 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Frank <laughs> don't know who it is. Unbelievable. I, Frank flew from... Uh, New York to Paris last night, and, and and I pity, I pity, who was sitting next to him. They were the red eye as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, Frank yeah, waffling yeah. away about. Oh, goodness, I'm fisherman, trying to sleep here. Fisherman Fred. The I'm thing is, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, the thing is, is, you know, I played with Chelsea for for a fair amount of time, and he's been waffling like that now for a good. I mean, Frank's what? He's nearly 40, 40 50. In his whole adult life. Yeah, just talking. Ah. I presume he was doing it as a kid. But in his whole adult life, he's just <laughs> talked and talked. Great value, very good fun. No, he was good. Very good fun. Well, he's good company for Yeah, no, he's, he's a good company. Um, Sid, should Liverpool focus on the Champions League and rest key players during Premier League matches? Doesn't it be a City will drop any points the rest of the way? Uh, no, uh, they shouldn't. They shouldn't focus on only one competition, but but they should be aware of the possible implications. And so, uh, so I suppose you go into games, you try and get them tied up as quickly as possible. You then make changes if needs be. But I, I'm also not entirely sure that it's that beneficial. I, I think once you've got got into a, a routine of momentum, I, I think you just you just keep on trying to win. And obviously, look, if by the second leg things look different in in the league then then perhaps you change but no I don't I don't think you I don't think you prioritize now I think emotionally it's inevitable that you do but I, I don't think you I think you try not to why can't Bernardo slide into the midfield and have Sané start on the wing the game certainly opened up while both were on the pitch I agree well he could but but maybe maybe and Sané won't and players generally don't like to hear this is that a very pacey player like him it can be ideal when the game's going into, you know, the hour mark or whatever, and the other teams are getting tired and it's yep. getting a little bit more open, then maybe at times Guardiola sees him as this guy who can come on and utilise that space with his pace. It's not something a player who wants to start always wants to hear, but it's, it's, a, it's an argument, I think, that can be made. I, I think City have looked better with Sani on, on, on the pitch. I, again, I don't think they were, they were that great, particularly in the first half. They look and kind of consistently better with, with Sani on the pitch. I don't know what's going on with Pep and Sani. Well, they've won like a million Premier League games in a row, though, haven't they? So it's... Yeah, but they've looked better with him on the pitch. When he comes on in ninth minute, that last minute yep. is unbelievable. Yep. Who is in need of a bigger rebuild, United or Arsenal? Oof. United. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, United, well, the trouble is, is you have to compare what the targets are. And yeah. whilst Arsenal have had Historically, I've had success. Uh, have you know? Haven't won the European Cup, got to the final. Man United have always, kind of always been challenging yep. for the Premier League or whatever league it is, and, and European competitions. 
So their need is greater. Uh, so if you're looking to build a squad, Arsenal are looking to build a squad to get back in the top four and challenge domestically. United are looking to build a squad to challenge globally. And that's where they are. And so they've got a bigger rebuild. United for, right now are worse than, than Arsenal. Yeah, they've got Quite a bigger simply. rebuild for what they want to do that. and achieve. Goalkeeper question for you, Shaq. Sure. Surely De Gea isn't top five in the world anymore. Seems like he makes a mistake every match. Yeah, he's, he's had a bad month or so. Maybe I need to do a, um, another top five. Another top five? Well, should we do that sometime? Yeah, if you want. And I know how much <laughs> you all like that. Craig looks forward to them in particular. That in the top ten. Final question. Top ten tomorrow, by the way. Just as I'm we, off as tomorrow. Yeah, I'm off oh, tomorrow. Oh, I'll, I'll text it to you. Yeah, please do. You could call in now. <laughs> call in. Tweet to, in. Yeah, I'll look forward to that. Mm -hmm. If neither Ronaldo or Zidane said would have left Real Madrid, would it yeah. have been a totally different season for the team? Um, not totally different, no. I think one of the things that we sometimes overlook, and obviously we overlook it for obvious reasons, Real Madrid won three Champions Leagues in a row, and that is an extraordinary achievement. But one of the things we, we sometimes overlook is actually there was a reality last year which Zidane was very, very well aware of, and that's one of the reasons why he walked away. They finished last season more than a dozen points behind Barcelona. Uh, they finished last season not competing in the league. Yes, they won the Champions League, but obviously, you know, that, that can happen. Would it have been massively different this year? It would have been different, but I don't know how different. There's a little bit of me, you know, that thinks, I wonder if Madrid had had the nerve to see through the shift in, cha in style, to see through the change in identity, and to, and to stick by Lopetegui despite those poor results at the start, would they have started to come through it? There's no way we'll know that, um, but I, I think... Had they stayed, this still would have been a problematic season. It's How not to say that it would have gone quite as badly, but I don't think it would have been perfect. How little bit of you? Are we talking little toe, Sid? An, an arm, a leg, elbow, finger? Yeah, I'll give you a couple of arms if you want. Oh, really? That's quite a lot. Is that all right? Yeah, that, that, that is, that is. Right, that's it. That's I think end. it would have been better, but not good enough. Right. You know, better than it has been, but not. Yeah. You get your Real Madrid. Why don't you just put your Real Madrid strip over the suit jacket? Why? Because you disappoint. You, what did you want to say? Yeah. They would have uh, romped home in the league again and won the Champions League. No, I was just, I didn't really want to hear from you because I was going to go. Where are you going? That was it. Well, we finished for the well, day. Well, you don't decide when you're going to hear from us. <laughs> I'm not ready to go home yet. <laughs> I want to stay a little bit longer. Really? Why yeah. do you want to stay? Uh, join the company. Really? Mm -hmm. ESPN FC back tomorrow. Shaka is going to give you his top 10 ranking. Yeah. What is it? Top 10 what? Hmm? Teams? Yeah. <laughs> top, top, team, top 10 pastas. <laughs> top, <laughs> <laughs> top 10 Top 10 pasta dishes. You should do that, dude. You should do it straight. <laughs> top 10 mince meals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>